Hi there, Dave here, that foreign bloke in New Dontani, Thailand. And uh, yeah, I can confirm that the warm season is definitely upon us. It is scorching now. Right, well, today um, is my birthday and we should have been going out for dinner or going out for something to eat. And uh, we we're going to go to Swenson's ice cream parlor and uh, Joe was going to treat me to ice cream. But to be honest with you, I haven't been feeling very well for the last couple of days. And uh, we aborted our mission on the way in to town. Um, so instead, I'm just going to eat some grilled chicken. No, I'm not. I'm going to eat some fried chicken and some tam. Um, which I asked Joe to get me in the market. Um, I sat in the car and waited for it, so I'm going to eat that. And then I'm going to have a bit of a rest, because I'm not at all feeling like it much. Unfortunately, but we will uh, go to Swenson's. I was mentioning it um, the other day. Swenson's haven't been for a long, long, long time. But we will get there um, on a day when I'm feeling like it. So that's that. Not much of a... That exciting birthday, but that's how it goes. There's a rumble of thunder and I think some rain in the air. We shall see. Yeah, we did have some rain last night actually. Um, and the night before, so we've had a couple of nights of uh, rain at night, but um, I think during the day yeah, it did start blowing a bit earlier on and uh, I thought well maybe it's gonna rain, rain's gonna come, but nothing happened with that, but it is getting very grey over there and rumbling, so we shall see, it's extremely hot and now. Um... Okay, so it did break the weather. Um, then we've got in a bit of a downpour now, but I'm under the umbrella here, going to... Uh, Zhao just realised he'd left the pump switched on over... over here and... Uh, near the water tower, so... Uh, I need to come and switch that off, but yeah... A bit of a downpour, which is... Uh, quite alright, to be honest with you. No problem for the piggy weeks. Apart from it's a bit noisy on the tin roof. So, comfy as you like. Those lights are not flashing, it's just the, uh, the LED frequency. Good morning. It is 6.20 on uh, Saturday. And uh, I'm up with the larks this morning, the dogs and the cats and everything disturbed me. So I um, got up to have a cup of tea and um, decide what and how I feel today. I haven't been good this week actually, so I haven't filmed a lot over the last few days. Um, hopefully it'll be a bit better now this weekend. Um, feeling down in the dumps, I'm afraid. Not feeling very good. Okay, Saturday afternoon and it's big sea time again. It was absolutely heaving. We had to drive around the car park about three times to find a place. Stop. Okay, shopping done. I'm going to go and get some iced tea, the same as I got the other day when we came. It was very good. And uh, go and find Joe, she's had to run off. And then we're going to uh, head home. Not feeling very hot again today. But uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the place with the tea. I'm going to get some from here. So well, this is the tea place, Panda 18. All sorts of exciting um, options, bubble tea and um, iced teas, etc. Charles ordered something, I'm not sure what, but... Yeah. 
Ruhe war es ja ne? Okay. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, stopping at the um, Palat Ban Hoi on the way home. Just to get some uh, dinner from the store here, the Korean rice work store. Very good. Just waiting for Jonas. It's somewhere. I'm not sure where, but from then I think we'll be finally heading home. We bought a load of bananas at the uh, oh there she is there. We bought a load of bananas on the way home at the uh, the fruit market for the pigs. So uh, right. right this mango tree used to look like that. Unfortunately it got some disease so Jaws cut it right back and has burnt all the infected leaves and whatever and hopefully it will um, become what it once was again. The other one, a little pair there, the best mango trees we've got on the farm, the biggest really. Um, this one is doing fine, it's full of fruit now again. Starting to come, I haven't seen any sign of it spreading. Yeah, there's red ants who will be making a nest out of the leaves very shortly. But um, this one looks alright, but that one, I'm afraid, not good. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, having to be burnt to be, um, to be safe from uh, infection. Alright, another summer storm blowing in, Sunday night. Just uh, rumbles of thunder and the wind's getting up now, so time to go and batten down the hatches. These tomatoes, I don't think they're going to survive another another storm, because they're uh, hanging on by, by a thread at the minute in some places, but um, we shall see what happens. These are my doggies. Uh, well, the rain started, as you can probably hear, but it looks pretty heavy over there. So uh, we shall see if that's coming this way or which way it's going. But it's raining and blowing quite a bit. Yeah, I've actually um, drawn up plans for a new uh, dog run here, which will be made from. Um, steel and uh, wire and um, we'll go from the middle of the patio door as this one does but we'll be up higher than the patio door up here roughly speaking and um, we'll go to the end of the house there but the same distance out the full length of the concrete and we'll also have a, a bit of a pitch roof on the bit that's exposed so that instead of the rain running down now being wet sort of from there out, the rain will run off. So hopefully they'll have a bigger drier area and we'll also have a, uh, a gateway to come in from, from the outside here rather than having to go through the house. So that's on the cards at the minute. Um, hopefully sometime next week these tomatoes are still standing as it stands. But it's getting wilder, so let's see. Uh, Right, good morning, it's Monday morning, uh, the rain basically stuck with us through the evening and the night and uh, even into this morning, so uh, as you can see it's been a little bit, uh, a little bit wet, I can hear the pigs screaming there, we've got somebody coming to um, give them medicine. Right, good morning. It is now Tuesday and um, I'm going to do some um, water work repairs. I told you last uh, week or whenever it was, I um, I ran a pipe and did a t tap for Jow to uh, wash out the pigsty and feed the pig, uh, shower the pigs and what have you. Well, 
Unfortunately, in the storm the other day, the pipe burst. Um, so, luckily, or luckily, I mean thankfully, I um, have a ball valve there, so um, I could turn it off, otherwise we would have had a bit of a problem. Needing to turn off the whole water supply, or coffee's sleeping in it. And, um, but it burst out, as you can see, there's a, a channel where the water ran squirting out. So I'm going to change that and um, hopefully everything will be fine. Also, we don't have any water at the minute uh, from the municipal water. There was something happened with that which needs to be repaired, not in our end, but the whole municipal supply. So um, could have been at the same time, which is why the pipe burst something happened pressure wise or whatever. There was a storm the other night, as I showed you um, earlier. Anyway, I'm going to do that. And um, my system is kind of flexible, so I can use water from our well as well, so that Joe can still hose out the uh, pig stone and what have you. So all will be good. Okay, so I've fixed the pipe, take it, put in a new piece, taking out the bit that split. It was just a split. And, um, yeah, this is coming from the well now at the minute, but the uh, water anyway to shower these uh, piggies and clean out the thing. So, um, another job done. Okay, so we come out to eat lunch um, before it's time for work. Um, we're going to eat grilled chicken and some tam here on the side of the road, not far from the house actually, just up the road from the house. Uh, not so much grilled chicken out uh, towards the farm way and the in the village, so um, this one is uh, is all right. So we're going to come in and eat. There we are, all very cosy and sheltered from the sun. We've got a new friend here, but not much left for them, I'm afraid. No, that was really good. I uh, had two thingies of rice as well. And uh, feeling stuffed now. Right, this is the steel for my new dog run that my brother in laws going to make. Just uh, went to... They went to order it this morning and, um, and it's been delivered. So, um, yeah, the new, uh, to replace this dog around here. Okay, so the old temporary dog runs down. We've got rid of the table and uh, we've got rid of the fire pit. So, clean space. Okay, so the first, first part of the frame is in there and there's one down the side of the brown there and it's going to run across there to the end of the concrete and run so uh, looking good i just came to the um the market in the field the tuesday night market and um, i'm just waiting for joe now but i didn't film anything in the market but there's a fella, I presume it's a fella, flying back and forwards on this, it's like a lawnmower hanging from a parachute, so um, not sure that it's my idea of fun, but uh, yeah, he's flying back and forth over the market with this thing. Um, got some food for my evening, uh, evening meal, we had, had a hearty lunch today, so we're not really hungry, but uh, we got some sort of snacks and things, I got some. Uh, chicken and some fruit and some cake and uh, yeah, a little bit of this and that. Um, my brother-in-law's busy doing the um, the new dog run, so hopefully uh, a couple of days that will be uh, done and dusted now they've started. So um, that's good. I'm looking forward to seeing that completed.
Now the dog runs coming up. Someone was tired and um, the usual sleeping place is busy with building the new dog run so he came in and uh, found a comfy spot with the fan there. Military planes overhead. I've just put a new valve in there, the one on the right. Um, I didn't have one there. I was going to have one there when we installed the water from the municipal water supply. But um, I decided not to because there was one further up. But the, the one further up is past the pigsty. And um, we. Um, I need to turn these two taps off here, this side, the two valves, to be able to use water from the, the well to, uh, to hose down the pigs and to clean out the pigsty. So I uh, put that extra one in there now so you can close it off there as well. So, and the water supply is now open so it's filling our water tanks. And the building work continues with the dog pound. I'm very pleased with the size of it. I think it's going to be a good size when it's finished. Right, we've just popped to do home to get some stuff for the dog run and uh, got to rush back to work. So no hanging around today. Okay, the framework's ready on the door frame. This is one of the things we bought at um, Do Home this uh, for the door. And then we've got a metal mesh uh, for the round the, the walls and then uh, zinc corrugated zinc for the the roof <clears throat> so all's good mad dogs mad dogs waiting for their new house the dog house to be finished but it's coming on okay it's the end of the day so i'm going to show you the uh, the dog run as it is at the minute uh, basically Ignore the flashing, that's just the difference in the frequency with the LED lamp. Um, basically there it is, um, there's a door to go in there and then um, it looks like that. There will be a uh, sloping roof up there so that the whole thing will be covered from the rain and it sticks out this way a little bit and that way a little bit as well, a bit of an overhang. Um, so it should be nice and dry and it's a good a good amount of space for four dogs to be uh, not on top of each other it's four and a half meters by three so um, we're talking about 14 square meters so that should be all right so um, uh, my brother-in-law and uh, and uh, P Jock will be back tomorrow and uh, that should be finished then, I think so uh, yeah, pleased with that. Alright, this is my uh, sister-in-law's farm, Jow's sister's farm, and um, she grows grass because she's got goats and she's got cattle, and uh, we've come to get some grass to uh, feed the pigs. <laughs> Nak bar! <laughs> yeah, so this is it. It's a type of um, napier grass, and it grows very tall. It's very juicy and uh, full of nutrients, so uh, it's very good for livestock. And all of this farm here, and the buildings here, this is uh, Jow's sister's. And she's got goats over there, which you might be able to see. And, uh, and buffaloes uh, as well somewhere, maybe on the other farm. But uh, this is all being used to grow. This here grass, so another exciting thing.
Okay, it's Thursday morning and a little update. The um, the roof is now on the dog pound, so um, that's how it's going to be. Um, keep it nice and dry. Very good. And then the last, or well, the next part will be closing off with the fencing. Right, oh, been busy today, a lot of work on. Um, I haven't really had a chance to show you the progress on the uh, the dog run, but I'll show you tomorrow because it should be finished tomorrow. Just got a package from uh, Lazada. Well, I've been to collect it, they dropped it off at the shop in the village. Um, it is a Wi Fi adapter because something happened to my PC and uh, I've been trying for about three weeks to get it sorted, but I just cannot get it sorted. Basically, it seems to have lost all contact with both my Wi-Fi and my Bluetooth adapter, and I have tried everything. So I bought an external one because I can't be doing with taking it to the shop and having it repaired. Um, I think it must be a hardware failure because it just will not find it anymore, um, and I don't. That means I don't have any Wi-Fi. So I bought a um, TP-Link, a little dongle thing. So I'm going to test that out now and see if that will do the trick. Oh, so there it is, TP-Link, a uh, little dongly thing, there you, there you are. Um, obviously it's not going to help with the Bluetooth, but I don't really, um, I don't really use the Bluetooth as such, so um, I'm not on the PC, although I, I do occasionally, but uh, it's nothing that I rely on, but Wi-Fi obviously is a big thing, so uh, I'm going to stick that in, install the drivers and let's see if it works. Right, well comes with a CD which I knew about um, but I'd already pre-downloaded the drivers from the uh, TP-Link website and um, I ran the drivers, installed the, stuck the uh, USB uh, adapter in and the uh, box jumper works just like a dream so uh, now I've got Wi-Fi again so uh, yeah small price to pay so I recommend one of these. Right, good morning. It is now Friday and uh, the weekend is here almost. Um, quite a bit of work to do though today first before I can go for the weekend. But um, I'm out and about. I've just been to fetch water, to buy water I should say. Um, big drums of water. And now I'm going to get some ice and some drinks for um, my brother-in-law and his mate who are working on uh, the dog pound that should be finished uh, in a couple of hours or so and uh, doing some chores at home washing and uh, yeah, all that kind of thing and uh, it will soon be time for work I, uh, I normally start earlier on a Friday if at all possible so that I don't have to work so late on a Friday either. so uh, that's the idea but um, as I say, I've got quite a bit to do today, but um, it will soon be the weekend. As you can see, it is another hot and sunny day here in Odantani. All things good. Okay, lunchtime. A cup of power, a couple of eggs, soup, and chow. And Suki, Suki Yaki. Right, we've just have been for a bit of lunch, uh, a place in the village here, and um, now we're just getting a fish for. Um, I was going to steam some fish for dinner tonight, and then um, we'll be coming back. The, uh, the dog run is now finished. I was, I've just started um, hanging some uh, shade netting and what have you up around it, but um, I'll show you that once I've done all the net, got all the netting up. But, but the construction is finished and it looks looks great. So I'm really glad about that. Big thank you to uh, to uh, my brother-in-law, Sam Wright, and to uh, P. Jock for uh, doing a great job. Um, so yeah, gonna do that and then back to, uh, back to it. I've been working a few hours, I've just had a break for lunch and then uh, back to it because it's Friday today, so I usually start a lot earlier on a Friday. So that's it, right? Okay, I am now in the dog run. 
um, shade netting. We've got black and green here and just going around there and then just the green one there. The green one's 80% shade, black one's 50 but it's folded over twice and that one's folded over once. There's just a small little gap but the main sun is here behind me where, where we need to shade. Show you from a different angle. So that's the, uh, the extent of the run and if I come out you can see there's a cat. And we can close the door and lock them in if you want to. So that's the idea. But uh, good size, three meters by four and a half meters, so it's about 14 square meters. So it should be enough room for four doggies in there when they have to be locked in. And uh, that's it. All finished. Quite possibly an eyesore, but um, at least the green netting matches the, the colour of the house to an extent, so that's alright. Well that's it, thanks a lot for watching, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and do do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, subscribed it means such a lot and um, I'll see you all on the next one, thanks for watching.